Historic KC business known around the country as the oldest black owned grocery store will close this week. Leon's Thriftway will mark an end to 51 years of serving customers near 39th and Elmwood. But as Emily Rittman reports, the closure may not be permanent. Leon's children grew up in this store. They hope that they can still turn things around and keep this family owned business open. These old school signs and creaking front door are a sign of just how long Leon's Thriftway has been a fixture in this neighborhood. You see all this gray hair on my face? I've been shopping here since I was a kid. Well, my grandfather brought me here back and forth when I was like five to six years old. Well, my father uh, got an SBA loan back in 1969 after Martin Luther King was killed in the form of uh, trying to help blacks be in business. Vernon Stapleton's father, Leon Stapleton, took a chance to build a better life for his family five decades ago. Leon's kids worked by his side. I was 11, I, I could just, I was sacking groceries then. Vernon's dad, Leon, made not only his family proud, but also members of his community. I shop at the only black grocery store in the United States, and I love it. That means a lot to a lot of people. This store is special, it's, it's significant. That's why word spread quickly when Vernon decided he had to close the grocery store. For a lot of years, it, it did okay. But as things have changed in the marketplace, new stores, uh, neighborhood changing, we, we kind of uh, fell on hard times somewhat. It's heartbreaking. Oh, it's, it's a sad day. But we just think it save it. I really do. Vernon does too. All this stuff is uh, from the 80s. And it's almost 2020. He says in order for the store to survive, it must be remodeled or rebuilt to satisfy current customer needs. I dropped my loan papers off today to try to acquire the property. For now, the only certainty is the store will be closed by the end of this week. What's next is unclear. We've got a lot of history and tradition here, and we're not just trying to let it end like this. Reporting from Kansas City, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.